We're in Revelation chapter 22, verse 2. In the midst of the street of it. All right, so remember the street of pure gold, right? In this new heaven, new earth. In the middle of the street, it says, on, and on either side of the river. So remember, there's this river, clean river of life too. Street, pure gold, river of life. On both sides of the river is what? Was there the tree of life. So remember, it's multiple trees of life. That's why it can go on either side of the river. Remember that. It's not singular. Which bear... Now, this is interesting. Twelve manner of fruits. So, it, so it's giving twelve different kinds of fruits. And yielded her fruit every month. So it's giving fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. The leaves of this tree is provided to heal Gentile nations. Remember that? Okay. So, this tree of life, whatever this thing is, this is where it gets into really interesting doctrine over here. So we're going to get into deep doctrine. Y'all ready for this? It's going to get into deep doctrine over here. So this tree of life is supposed to bear 12 manner of different fruits. You notice that? It's not one. It's 12 different manners of fruits. Now with these 12 different manners of fruits over here, it says that it's done at every season. Huh. Every season, it's do, uh, every month, so to speak. So every month they do it. Now I wonder what in the world, why is that important? Because this is for, notice who this tree is reserved for. Did you read that? What does it say it's given to? The nations, is that correct? All right, now remember these Gentile nations over here. Notice that when they receive this tree of life, it's divided into how many? Did you see that? Wait a minute, it's divided into 12. Remember what I taught you in Revelation chapter 21? Our last revelation study gentile nations how are they divided off as 12. why because as they enter the new jerusalem over here this new jerusalem that they enter inside has 12 different gates so to speak and remember that each gentile nation is going to go inside their designated gates. As they're divided off into 12 gates separately for 12 divisions of the nations over here, this fruit coincidentally is divided into 12 as well. That's the reason why. It's because it is designated according to the Gentile nations in their division of 12. But let me show you something interesting over here. As each Gentile nation partakes their fruit, go to Ezekiel 47. Ezekiel chapter 47. Notice what the book of Ezekiel says concerning about this tree of life. It is designated according to the months. Why is this divided off into months here? Wait a minute. Look at this. This is pretty cool. This is where it's all going to get divided into. And by the river, verse 12, by the river upon the bank thereof, on this side and on that side, shall grow all trees for meat, whose leaf shall not fade, neither shall the fruit thereof be consumed. It shall bring forth new fruit according to his what? Months. How many months per year? Twelve months, right? Twelve months per year. And there are what? Twelve manners 
of fruits over here. And why did they divide it into 12 over here? Because Revelation chapter 22 verse 2, according to the month. Wow, so each fruit comes out for each designated month over here. And these are reserved for who? Gentile nations. Did you remember your previous Revelation study? The previous Revelation study, I showed you that the Gentile nations, their, their, uh, their habitation is what? Out in the universe there. And then out in the universe, you got <laughs> satanic astrologers who are trying to imitate what God is doing of people's births and years. See, the devil was way ahead. He knows when he talks about this astrology stuff. How many? Twelve. Twelve in the zodiac. And everybody, when they go by their birthday, what do they go by? Their astrology. Their astrological sign over here. Astrology sign. How about that? What do you think Satan was trying to get at over there? So, notice over here that Gentile nations, they're uh, living in the 12 houses of the Zodiac. Remember, it's 12 houses of Zodiac. Why is that? Because I showed you from the scriptures last time, which I'm not going to spend time on this one. But remember, it's divided into 12 because it's divided for the Gentile nations according to the number of the 12 tribes of Israel. So, astrology, Satan knows that it's connected to somebody's birthday over here. So, what's going on over here? What's going on over here is that the Gentile nations, they get a fruit that's according to the 12 months. So the birthday that they were born, basically, or they were living under, that's when they can come to partake in the tree of life and eat it, where they get healing. Whoa! Where did you get that from, right? So here's the thing is that the tree of life, how we can know this is because what the title is a giveaway. It is called tree of what? Life. See, that's why we know it's going according to the person's birth or life. Life is used simultaneously with birth, as you might know that. Oh, the baby is born or the baby is alive, right? Meaning what? They're synon those words are synonymous with each other. The tree of life is connected to somebody's life and birth. Remember, the purpose of the tree of life is what? To keep giving them life. I mean, Revelation 22, did you read that? Revelation chapter 22, the last part, it's for the healing of the nations. Ezekiel chapter 47, let me uh, read that quickly again. It mentions that the tree of life, at verse 12, is... The fruit thereof shall be for meat, and the leaf thereof for medicine. See that? It says it will bring forth new fruit at Ezekiel 47, 12, according to what? His months. Twelve manners of fruit, each new fruit according to each new month. That's where it's showing over there. Wow, how about that? people born on their birthdays according to their month, right? All of that is show all of that is done for a reason, my friend. I mean, we could have done without it. Why do we have to put a birthday, right? According to months and why divide it by 12, right? Why the Lord designed it that way? Because go back to Genesis chapter 1. <coughs> Genesis 1. The calendar, our birthdays are all according to the stars, the universe out there how our solar system works. Genesis chapter 1. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> we'll read verse 14. 
And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven. See, outer space, God puts the stars, the lights in there, planets. Um, to divide the day from the night and let them be for what? Signs and for seasons and for days and years. See that? And God said at the book of Deuteronomy that I showed you, he divided it what? To, for the Gentiles. It was given to the Gentiles according to divisions of what? The dividing portions, the number portions according to the number of the children of Israel, 12. That's why Revelation 21 says there are 12 gates that the nations will enter, the Gentile nations will enter into. And the 12 gates are what? The 12... Uh, the numbers of the 12 tribes of Israel, fulfilling the book of Deuteronomy. Man, that book will blow up your mind every single time. All right, is your brain mashed potato after that? <laughs> All right, now, why is it that they have to keep partaking? Oh, another giveaway. Didn't you know in your Bible, if you look up the word fruit, what is it connected to? Birth. Did you read that in your Bible? Oh, isn't that interesting? Think about that. Anyways, as we continue on with our teaching, why is it that they have to partake in this tree of life? That is the question. The question is, why do these Gentile nations have to partake in this tree of life, Pastor, for life? Because remember in our previous Revelation study, Revelation chapter 20, that the people during the millennium, they can die. Do you remember that? The Bible never said that these uh, that their bodies are immortal instead they get longevity and I've explained that in our Revelation chapter 20 study that's the reason why these people have to keep going to the tree of life they need that tree of life so that they can keep on living over here that's how their bodies are made to be whereas uh, Christian Church we have what the body of Jesus Christ because of that, that's why our bodies are uh, made differently from the tribulation saints and the millennial saints. Their bodies, it's going to be conditioned upon partaking in that tree of life so that they can keep on living. Now, remember, the tree of life, when was that given? All the way back to Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve, when they were male and female. See that? So... The tribulation saints' bodies are like Adam and Eve, male and female, where they can partake in the tree of life. The Christian church, our bodies are not going to be like Adam and Eve. Remember, our bodies are going to be what? Like the body of Jesus Christ himself. See, that's why there's a distinguishing over here. There's so much distinguishing over here.